Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Uh, last episode, we uh, got a kerosene lamp that uh, the uh, the very annoying doctor, or is he a doctor? Was he listed as a doctor? I think he was. Um, wouldn't let us get. But now it's ours. It's mine. You can't have it back. So let's head inside. All right, so we notice that uh, this... Excuse me, won't you? What? Let's see what your friend is up to. What? Well, that's just... It's just rude. No, I'm going to go... Can I talk to Sophia? Sophia, let's talk. What's up? Um... Can you try and keep uh, Sternheart busy again? Could you try and keep Sternhart busy again? <sighs> again? He's such a windbag. <laughs> I've got another question for you, Doctor. Yeah, just walk right through me. There we go. All right, so we notice that there's spiral designs, and then there's a single spiral design. It's a little bit darker, so it is obviously uh, different. Let's go ahead and look at it. This one looks different, more deeply etched. Hmm. Maybe it's a we lamp can filled with kerosene. Maybe we can uh So you took my lamp, eh? Oops. I hope you know what you're doing. Oh I do. Sophia's still talking away and now now he's ignoring her. That's just rude. Excuse sir. me, won't you? Let's see what your friend is up to. Aw, oh, dang it. I guess I don't get to uh do this in secret, huh? Alright, use the kerosene won't pour out. Why do I want the kerosene to pour out? I thought I would light it up and, and hold it up or something. But, okay. Open it. Better not spill the kerosene. Hmm. Look, the kerosene ate away the tarnish. Remarkable. Does kerosene do that? I don't know. This one looks different, more deeply etched. Oh, okay. Um, can can I can I use the spiral design then? No. Can I push it? I can't move it. Can I pull it? Now I got it. Oh. Marvelous. Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting that to happen. It's a stone carving. It looks kind of metal to me. Like, was the tarnish supposed to be holding it in or something? I don't know. We do have this animal head over here. Looks like it could use a nose. Oh, okay. All right. It fits perfectly. Now it looks kind of like an elephant. Amazing. That's that's very odd in uh, South America. Can we use it? That doesn't seem to work. Okay. Can we pull it? Pull elephant's nose. I do like to uh, pull noses. Look at that. Astonishing. Bless my soul, the tomb of an Atlantean king! I feel like you're there jumping to conclusions. Stone disc with images of land and sea engraved on it. I do believe it's a world stone. At last I have the thing. Goodbye, fellow seekers. Wait! Oh Wait. no, he got away! The hell? There's a secret door back there. Alright, well first of all, ooh, shiny bead. Let's go pick up that shiny bead. Too bad for Sternhardt. He missed the Oracalcum bead. Well, let's go to the secret door. Can we uh, use the uh, secret door? It won't budge. Push? It won't budge. Pull? It won't budge. Talk to? No? 
Open. It won't budge. All right. Well, uh, I guess the, we're done here. Where has Sternhart has gone, I don't know, but. Um, I guess we go to the path around the jungle now. Bye, Birdie. Bye bye, Birdie. I suppose I should say. <sighs> well, let's use the truck. Let's find the airport. All right. So we have the uh, the bead. Let's head back to Iceland. And head back into the uh, dig site. Oh dear. Oh, he uh too bad. He's frozen solid. A little too dedicated to his work, I guess. I don't know. I feel like something bad might have happened because uh that should not have happened. <laughs> I feel like not this quick. Um but the exposed eel the uh eel head is exposed. It looked like a bead would fit in the eel's mouth. Oh, well, well that's convenient. All right. Can I talk to, uh... Nope. Can I pick him up? I can't pick that up. I have one bead. Okay. It fits perfectly. Whoa! Look, it melted itself right out of the ice. So I have the feeling that, that it froze him. Because, uh, I don't know, like, if it can melt itself out of the ice, can it, can it then freeze him? I don't know. It's a bronze coil. I'll take that. Look at eel figurine. It's a bronze coil. Okay. The, the head of it looks very silly. Well, sorry Heimdall, but, uh, I guess we're out of here. Uh, he did give us another place to, uh, to go to. We can go to the Azores. I was going to see if he had anything to say about the, uh, the, what, the World Stone or whatever. Let's head for the airport. But we do have another lead, so let's head down to the Azores. Nyeom. I guess uh, that's the plane that we uh, came in on. Lovely scenery, though. I, I will uh, grant that. You look a lot larger than that car. <laughs> this is his house? Seems this like a big it. house. Alright. So we have a car down there. can talk to Sophia about this, see what she has to say. Excuse me. Yes? Are you sure this is Costa's house? Are you sure this is Costa's house? Pretty sure, but I've never actually met him. Alright, what do we do now? What do we do now? Let's talk to Costa. Okay. Never mind. Why don't you talk okay. to him? But uh, Maybe we should talk to him first. Uh, there's no, like, knock option, so maybe use the door? I don't think that'll work. Can't go over there. Open. I guess that counts as a knock. Mr. Costa? Pipe down, I'm coming. Be firm, but polite. I suppose you're selling something. If it's not a priceless artifact, I don't want it. Well, I have a... I have a thing... I hear you know something about Plato's Lost Dialogue. Do you have a bathroom in there I can use? I hear you know something about Plato's Lost Dialogue. Maybe so, maybe no. Who are you? I'm Indiana Jones. It's not who I am, it's what I'm after that's important. I'm a fellow believer. Me, I guess I'm kind of lost. I'm Indiana Jones. I'm Indiana Jones. I'm Costa, and I'm tired of talking to you. 
Well, that's just rude. Indiana? What kind of stupid name is that? Aw. Let's kick his butt. Stupid old man. Nice going, Indy. I could have done better. Well, then why don't you do yeah, better? Yeah, sure. Fine, then. No, no, talk to. Listen. Yes? How'd we get mixed up with, uh, with a screwball? How'd we get mixed up with a screwball? The screwball in Iceland, remember? Uh, the ice ball in Iceland. Um, all right, fine. Here, you talk to the Here, man. Here, you talk to the man. My pleasure. Really? All right. Oh, I get to, uh, actually be her. Ooh, let's look at the necklace. My necklace. Okay. Mr. Costa! Keep your shirt on. I don't know. He's a touchy old bird. Watch and learn, Dr. Jones. Well, hello, beautiful. Oh, my. And he even comes out. Professor Costa, my name is Sophia Hopgood. I hope my friend didn't pester you too much. Professor Costa, Go my Professor. name is Sophia Hapgood. Madam Sophia? A renowned psychic? Wow, he's heard of her. I hope my friend didn't pester you too much. I hope my friend didn't pester you too much. He's a friend of yours? Well, no, he didn't pester me that much. He just has to learn to be more tactful. Uh, we need some help from you. Actually, he's named after the family dog. Oh, yeah. Actually, he's named after the family dog. Sophia. See? Hmm, I see. He's really told a lot of people, huh? Uh, what can you tell us about uh, Plato's Lost Dialogue? What can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? What do you want to know? Uh, well, do you have it? Do you have it? Nope. Hmm. Have you read it? Have you read it? Nope. Hmm. Do you know what's in it? Do you know what's in it? Not exactly. Can what you get it you? for me? Sorry. Ah, <sighs> do you know where we could find it then? Do you know where we could find it? Well now, that depends. On what? I might trade the information for a rare Atlantean artifact, such as a certain necklace I've heard about. I'll never trade away my necklace. Yeah, we well have a... Well then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. And we do have another thing. Uh, would you do business with my friend here? I guess that is the only option we have. Do business with my friend here. And Indy does have an item. Madam, I'll do business with anyone. Thanks for your help. Goodbye for now. At your command, madam. Oh, hey, well, Don't she... Don't be a stranger now. Let's give, um... What a charming old man. I don't know about charming. Trade, huh? All right, talk to... Excuse me. Yes? Follow me, India. <laughs> I, I think, think you better, you better take, take over. over. Okay, I'll give it a try. All right, let's go ahead and do open. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? Uh, let's talk about a trade. Let's talk about a trade. Okay, what you got? I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. I'm offering this rare archaeology magazine. I'm offering this genuine American-made bullwhip. Well, I don't think he's going to take any of those, but let's try him. I'm offering this rare archaeology magazine. That magazine rejects all my articles. You keep it. Oh. Got anything else? Uh, this genuine American-made bullwhip. I'm offering this genuine American-made bullwhip. Not a chance. What good is a whip in this day and age? Actually, it's quite Got useful. Got anything else? I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. <laughs> okay, now just that looks interesting. Automatically go to that. You've got a deal, mister. Now listen carefully. I don't know exactly where to find it, but... 
The Lost Dialogue of Plato is in the Ashkenazi Collection. Got that? I think so. The Ashkenazi, Ashkenazi Collection. Okay. Very good. Nice doing business with you. you write that down. The Ashkenazi Collection? You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Ashkenazi Collection. Well, that's convenient. A research laboratory somewhere in Germany. Dr. Uberman. Fantastic news. Corona, at last! See what Herr Jones has kindly provided? What on earth? Isn't it amazing? You fool! You come back to show me this, this, this... Prehistoric knick-knack? Herr Doctor, I believe yeah, knick -knack. this knick-knack, as you call it, comes from the lost city. Then we have failed! I see no evidence here of some magical metal Plato called Orichalcum! Look here, concealed in the base is this small shiny bead. And it glitters like fire, exactly as Plato described. It's my guess we found the treasure we seek. I never guess! We must test! And it fails. Um... That seems really dangerous. We've done it! The energy of uranium without any radioactivity! And those smug American scientists know nothing! That gives me an idea. Suppose I place the bead inside the statue's open mouth. <laughs> Your own. Hey! It's a new toy! You saw that? Think of trucks powered by these beads. Think of tanks. Think of airplanes. Think of children's toys! Use your imagination, Colonel! Think big like the American! Think of bombs! Well, back we are here at uh, Barnett College. You gonna, you gonna come along, Sophia? So why are you dragging me in here? To find the Ashkenazi collection? Uh, Plato's Lost Dialogue should be here somewhere. This is Caswell Hall. We store all our junk here. Sure. This is Caswell Hall. We store all our junk here. You think Plato's Lost Dialogue is junk? I used to. Now I'm not so sure. I believe it's as real as Atlantis. I'll decide once I see it. I'll decide once I see it. Some people have no faith. Nope. I'll meet you in your office. Okay. Make us do all the work, huh? <sighs> okay, so I believe the collection um, is random. Um, th there was a little bit of a dialogue break, audio break, right be before he said what it was. Um, I think that was to load up a, a different dialogue. Um, but we do know that it's in the Ashkenazi collection, although why it's spelled that way and... I don't know. Did, did the people who made this game not know what Ashkenazi with an I are? Were they trying to avoid the last four letters being spelled that way? I don't know. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and start looking around. We already have our dirty rag in case we need it. Walked a screw, huh? All right. Well, let's uh, let's look at some things. It's a screw, early twentieth century, I believe. All right. Do I want to pick it up? Pick up the screw. It's screwed in too tight. Do 
It's screwed in too tight. Can we pick up uh, any of them? It's screwed in too tight. It's screwed in too tight. It's screwed in too tight. Okay, well, the fact that uh, we can actually look at those tells me that we're going to need to get them at some point. I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection. Okay. Look at the school desk. It's an old lecture hall desk, complete with a wad of gum, I'll bet. You. We got books on dig sites. There's nothing of importance here. All right. Books on weapons. There's nothing of importance here. Books on tools. I think I've read them all. Books on pots. I don't need them. They're just textbooks. Okay. Well, can we uh, use the rope? All right, well, there was a collection mentioned in here, I believe. So we'll take a look around to see if we can... Uh, big crate. See if we can figure out uh, if the Ashkenazi collection is uh, around here. But that will be next time. See you then, everyone.